Okay, so let's just say that you are recording your video using OBS, and then you realize that there was a really cool screenshot or moment that you wanted to actually capture. So how would you do that? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you using OBS. Okay, so taking screenshots in OBS is really easy to do, but at the same time, it also gives you a lot of flexibility as well. So here we're gonna go into OBS and then go under settings. And the first thing you wanna do is just check to make sure where your actual video recordings are going. If you go to output, then you go to recording, whatever directory you have set up here, this is where your screenshots are gonna go. And for me, it's gonna be under videos. So once you've determined that, you can now set up your screenshots. So you go down here to hotkeys, and if you go down here, you see two options, screenshot output and screenshot selected source. And so the first thing we're gonna do is screenshot output. So I'm gonna put Q as my hotkey. And now I'm gonna go ahead and press Q. And you see that screenshot saved to this directory. And if I go here to my directory, there is my screenshot. And so this first type of screenshot basically takes a picture of anything within your scene. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the other screenshot option. So we'll go back here to hotkeys. And now we have screenshot selected source. So I'm gonna put W as my hotkey. And this is what's really cool about this. So you have multiple sources here. Say for example, I only wanna take a screenshot of this source, which is my camera. So I choose that. Now I'll go ahead and press W. Okay, so it changed the screenshot. And let's see if it came out. Yep, there I am. <laughs> and then if you wanted to take a screenshot of another source, all you have to do is select it. Then go ahead and press the hotkey again. And now we have this other source. So as you can see, setting up screenshots within OBS is really easy. And because it gives you some flexibility on the type of screenshots you wanna take, it makes it a really powerful feature as well. So if you actually had any thoughts on how to do screenshots, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did wanna see my video on how to create scenes in OBS, I'll leave that up here or in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.